Hello and good morning. It's Phil Thatch and I'm here today at the Ellen Davenport Navarre Teaching Garden, which is right at the Chattanooga Food Bank, very near the Curtain Pole Road area where I go quite often. And it has rained a bunch this morning, big storm this morning, lightning and thunder. And so uh, I had planned to come here and now I'm here and I don't know if there's gonna be any bugs out because like I say, really torrential rainfall this morning. But I've got my uh, R7 and my 100 millimeter macro and uh, a flash and a diffuser. So I'm gonna see if I can find anything to photograph. And I've also brought some birding gear, so I may shift gears and try that if nothing works out in the insect area. Well, after lots of garden wandering, some bugs are starting to show up. I've made a number of photographs of just flowers and leaves and things like that. And I'll show you those now. Here's a beautiful lance-leaved Coreopsis, and I thought it was especially pretty with all this water on it. And it was funny, it was growing way off to the side, not near any of the flower beds. I think it might have been a seed that had blown over there from last year. But I've also found a number of bugs uh, in various places. Nothing, nothing really special, but uh, there's a lot of beautiful things to photograph here. Here's a photograph of this beautiful pink tall zinnia flower. And look, on the stem, there is a plant hopper that I thought was really cool. I've photographed one of these before in one of my previous videos, and I didn't even notice it there. Here is a tarnished plant bug, and it's on the top of this beautiful white flower. And I've got the exposure set up to where the background is totally black. And there's even an inchworm on this flower as well. Now here in this yellow flower is another insect that I've photographed before. This was in one of the episodes of Bugs from Work, and this is a spotted cucumber beetle. Really cool. I photographed a lot of these. I'm hanging out here this morning with my friend Forrest. You should check him out on Instagram, Snapping Wowzers, and he found this awesome frog right here in this leaf that we both photographed. Pretty cool. I was really excited to see this green tree frog because I knew that Heather would enjoy the photograph. She loves frogs and I thought it looked really cool inside this plant leaf with all the red in it. And then in a similar plant leaf with lots of red, I photographed this really cool looking grasshopper. Look at those eyes. There's even some blue on its eyes. Just a cool looking insect and I was happy to see it there. And here is, I don't know if this is a sweat bee or some other sort of bee. It's about the size of a sweat bee, maybe a little bit bigger than a sweat bee. But there it was and I took the opportunity to make a photograph of it. But I said, you know what, I gotta go get another picture of that frog. So here is the frog still in the exact same place. It never moved a millimeter. And I went back over and made another photograph of it from a different angle. And here is a house fly, or maybe it's a horse fly. I don't know what kind of fly it is. It's got a lot of green to it, and I love those red eyes. And it's on top of that same white flower that I photographed the cucumber beetle on before. Oh look, here is a stink bug. Got a photograph of the stink bug. I think its red eyes look really cool. And uh, I've seen a bunch of these this year, but this is the first one I've had an opportunity to photograph. So that turned out pretty nice. And this is more of a house fly, some sort of a fly there in the garden. And you know, a lot of times when you get close to a fly, they fly off. But for some reason that morning, I was able to photograph flies pretty easily. So I thought that was nice. As the morning progresses, we keep finding more and more subjects to photograph. Just all sorts of critters are coming out. When I first got here this morning, all I was seeing was just the beautiful flowers. And then all of a sudden, as the storm got further and further in the past, we started seeing all sorts of insects. And, and uh, I'm basically adjusting my exposure with ISO. I'll shoot as low as, as uh, 100 ISO and as high as 800 ISO. If I take one shot and I don't like the exposure, I'll, I'll dial it in with ISO. I'm keeping my aperture at F11 and I'm keeping my flash power at one quarter. Sometimes I'll adjust the, the shutter speed to, uh, I'll make a lower shutter speed if I wanna see more background and a higher shutter speed if I wanna see less background and more darkness in the background. Here is another spotted cucumber beetle picture. And I don't know if you remember from back in Bugs From Work episode three where I photographed one of these for the first time and I only got two photos of it before it flew away and became lost inside our house. So 
Because of that, I really spent a lot of time with the spotted cucumber beetle and made a number of shots. Also, I think it's a really attractive bug, and uh, this is probably my favorite shot of it here on this white flower with its antenna sticking up and pretty good focus on it and kind of pretty light. I just thought the spotted cucumber beetle photos turned out well that morning. And look, it's another fly. This is another one that's really got a lot of green to it. I don't know if this is a house fly or some other sort of fly, but I do love the red eyes and the white on its face and the green. Now look at this unusual creature. This is a leaf footed bug is its common name. It kind of is shaped like a stink bug a little bit, but it has those distinctive calves so it's kind of cool and i was enjoying photographing it and here's another amazing looking grasshopper this one uh, maybe even more amazing looking than the last one and you can see the water drops on it it was still uh, quite moist that morning after all the rain that's going to do it for me here at the ellen davenport navarre teaching garden it's really been a lot of fun and i thank you for watching if you like the content uh, give me a thumbs up subscribe hit the bell and as always i look forward to seeing you in the next one bye bye